Each template in SongSketch has a number of sections and a number of parts. The different song sections are visible below the arrangement and the parts are listed to the left. The bars show where in the arrangement each part is played. Templates can also include breaks and automation, marked with red lines and squares. This is covered in separate tutorials. A template can have between 6 and 32 parts. To add or remove parts, select one of the parts by clicking on its name, then increase or decrease the number of parts in the song settings menu. To change the part type, click on the arrow to the right of the part type name and use the drop down menu. To draw and delete bars, open the drawing tools panel in the menu to the left. Select bar and draw area to set how many bars to draw at a time. Click in the arrangement to draw bars. Click again to delete. To delete all bars in the arrangement, select clear all in the edit menu. To see your changes in the live arrangement view, you can activate sync edit. With sync edit, drawing and deleting in SongSketch will also take effect in the live arrangement view. Sync Edit works best with Live 11, since Live 11 allows third-party apps more access to features in the arrangement view. You can still use the Sync Edit in Live 10, but when deleting clips you will get muted clips instead of actual deleted clips. With the song settings, you can make changes to an existing template or set up your own template from scratch. If you are creating your own template, you can open an existing template, select clear all and use as a starting point for a new template. Use the section menu to select which level of the song structure to make settings for, the song, all sections of a specific type or an individual section. When song is selected, you can make global settings for the song, such as the total number of sections and the number of parts. You can set the default section length. Later you can also define section length for each individual section or type of section. In case your arrangement is to be used for halftime music, for example trap or dubstep, you can toggle the halftime mode to on. Each bar in the song sketch arrangement will then represent two bars when placed in the live arrangement view. The Alt toggle turns automation on or off when using the template. This setting will not be saved in the template. You can define the genre using the drop down menu. This setting will not affect the arrangement but helps you organize your templates. In the section menu, you can also make settings for all sections of a certain type. You can change the section name and set the section length in number of bars or you can set the relative length compared to the global setting for the song. Check override if you want these settings to override any individual settings for sections of this type. To make settings for an individual section, select the section name in the section bar below the arrangement. Here you can change the section name. You can also define section length in number of bars or in terms of relative length. If you like to move the section to another position in the arrangement, you can change its position number. In this menu, you can also add a new section. If you increase the number of sections by one, you will get a copy of the selected section. Then use the section menu to rename the section and make other settings. If you like to remove a section, select the individual section that you wish to remove in the section bar then decrease the number of sections by one. SongSketch uses a number of predefined section names. If you open Preferences in the menu to the left, you see that sections are organized in six different categories. This structure is used for some of the features in SongSketch. You can also see the default names for different section categories. You can change the default section names and also add your own section names. 
In Preferences, you can also select if you want to include section labels when the arrangement is placed on the Live Arrangement view. To save changes to your template, go to the File menu and select Save Template or Save Template As. In this menu, you can also create a new library for your templates. Currently, edits to your arrangements are not saved with a live set, so make sure you save any work using the Song Sketch save functions.